We started using Velocity because we had a lot of interest from our executive team to gauge the overall health of the company and the overall productivity of our engineering team. I've never seen any, anything quite like Velocity. I, mean, I think it gives me a, a, a really good idea as to what a developer is doing at a very fast rate. The challenges in continuous delivery are making sure that the unit of code you're trying to deliver is small enough to be reviewed and shipped to production quickly and safely. Before, we didn't really have a good way to pull this information. When managers are reviewing velocity metrics with their team members, it's always a conversation starter. We use these as data points for individual coaching and just to overall gauge how folks are being onboarded and, and progressing. Typically, I'm looking at coding days per week as well as pushes per day. We really want to be committing code every day. We really want to be pushing code every day. We want to be able to make smaller PRs and push those through quickly. Metrics that have been used in the past, such as measuring lines of code or tickets closed, really aren't that meaningful because they tend to reward being busy, not necessarily working smart. I recommend Velocity to uh, anybody that wants to gain introspection into their engineering department in an objective way. If we now measure engineers, including new hires, using the same metrics, we can tell that the onboarding time gets us a new engineer up to speed in about a week.